At Perfectly Spoken, with our scholarship program, our aim is to help disadvantaged students learn and improve their English. And one of the most important groups of those students are refugees. And one of the most important charities that helps refugees in the UK is RefuAid. We've been working with RefuAid for over 18 months now. I met with Mohib Ullah from RefuAid to talk about the work that they do and the importance of learning English to those refugees. Hello Mohib, good morning. How are you? Good morning, David. I'm very well, thank you. Yourself? Good, good thank you. I'm very, I'm very well. Uh, so Mohib from RefuAid. Mohib, can you tell us a little bit about what RefuAid does? Sure. Well, thank you for the invitation. Um, so Refuge was founded in 2015 in an effort to provide a practical response to the um, migration crisis of refugees and asylum seekers here in the UK. So our main aim is to provide uh, successful and sustainable solutions to the three key barriers that are faced by refugees and asylum seekers. Um, and those barriers are uh, uh, employment, uh, finance, and, and language tuition. So when it comes to language tuition, we work with uh, English language schools, private English language schools, which are accredited by the British Council and English UK. Um, along with uh, those school places, we provide access to our students to um, uh, online resources, such as Perfectly Spoken. Um, and these resources equip students to prepare for either higher education purpose, if they need the language qualification, or for re-employment uh, purpose here in the UK. Uh, um, along with those uh, uh, provision, we provide a, uh, financial support to, to students who attend our language schools. Um, these financial support help them to uh, cover their travel costs, as well as exam costs when they're exam ready. So, majority of our students will be looking to set the IELTS exam for a uh, higher education purpose and the other group will be looking to set the OET exam. Once they have uh, finished their exam, the students will move on to start university and the other half will move on to our recall team. And the recall team will assist them with further employment related advice and exams like that for the doctors. And, and we also have an interest free loan scheme which helps the professionals to uh, study towards their professional exams and, 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 and to ensure that they uh, successfully register here in the UK with their regular uh, authorities. So uh, those would be GMC, NMC, um, uh, which covers the uh, healthcare professionals. Uh, summary, we cover the language provision as well as the finance uh, for, for um, refugees and asylum seekers uh, and, and uh, of course the last uh, uh, point is employment to, to make sure that they uh, start a decent job here in the UK. That's, that's fantastic, that's very comprehensive. So I would uh, say this is all about empowering, empowering the, 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 the refugees that come to you? Uh, that's correct, so we believe that uh, providing them basic uh, empowerment, education, and access to uh, main uh, uh, resources such as education or employment, uh, which will enable them to to start living an independent and dignified life here in the UK. Fantastic. And and what sort of numbers are we talking about? How many refugees do you help? So we are currently supporting over three hundred students, and we are scaling up the program, the language program. Um, and, and so far, uh, since since it, uh, since the foundation, we have had about 670 students who have graduated from the language program. So these students have either gone on to universities to start a degree or into professional employment here in the UK. Fantastic. And, and what what countries do they come from generally? Is there any pattern? So a vast number of uh, asylum seekers who claim asylum in the UK are from countries which are uh, war-torn countries like Ukraine, Afghanistan, Syria, Iraq. Um, and then we have also seen refugees from Iran and Turkey as well. Uh, so countries which are war-torn countries, but also countries that have been reported for human rights violations. Right. Right. And the, 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 the background and ages, I mean, from, from what you're saying about the education programme, it sounds very, very varied, very wide. 
That's, that's correct. So the students who come to us are students who were either studying their first degree back home or had just finished high school and they need to restart uh, their degree programs here in the UK. So they're in their early 20s with some gap in their education. Uh, but then we also have professionals like doctors with 15 and 20 years experience. Wow. Um, and an average age for our doctor is 38. So it's a mix. So you have young students in their early 20s with one or two years uh, gap in their studies after uh, fleeing their home countries. And then professionals with profound experience of 15 and 20 years. I, I think that's really interesting. And I think many people would be surprised at the, the, the level of education that a lot of these refugees have, how well qualified and academic they are. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we, 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 we speak to neurosurgeons, we speak to scientists, engineers, and there's so many examples. And, 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 and these people are determined and commit, uh, committed to the program. They want to live an independent life. Uh, the, the, the sheer resilience they bring is so empowering. Even we, we and, and, and the rest of our team, uh, you know, everyone at Refute and people who work with uh, these students, we find inspirations in them. You know, they are so empowering in, in every way. Fantastic, fantastic. And um, I hope what exactly is your role within the, the organization? So I went through a similar journey uh, uh, about seven, eight years ago. And then I started volunteering in the sector. And then when I joined Refuge, I was working with clients as a caseworker. And then uh, I moved on to the lead role. So I now lead the language program where we partner with English language schools, um, source English language provision for our clients and, and, and help them to pass the language exam to move on to either higher education or requalify in the UK. Good, thank you. And I think just just going back to the the importance of English. So so how how would you define that? Uh, it's important in every way. So if, as as we identified at the start, that it's one of the main barriers. And and if you don't overcome your first barrier, then it's really really hard to integrate successfully here in the UK. So English, whether you need it for employment purpose or just for day to day purpose you really need uh, to improve English uh, to, to live a decent life where you are independent and can go on about your day-to-day -day life. Thank you, yes. So it's very much just about integration into society, but also the, that, that opportunity to get work, to get work and life opportunities. Absolutely. That's great. Thank you so much for spending some time. It was really interesting to, to speak to you. And uh, Thank you very much. All the very best for you and, and refuge aid. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you for having us. Thank you.